You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. And hello there, I'm Jasmine Veal. Here is a look at your top stories. We do begin with breaking news out of Philadelphia. This is where multiple people were shot at an end of Ramadan celebration. This all unfolded at a free Aid Al Fitr event in West Philadelphia's Parkside section. Police are saying that several people are now in custody. All the victims are expected to survive. But what a frightening scene down there as witnesses recounted the terrifying and chaotic moments. Take a listen to this. I was standing there. I walked in to go charge my phone. Everybody started running everywhere. Oh my gosh, they're shooting, they're shooting. Everybody's running over each other. I'm helping people up. It was crazy. It was the E. We're, we're Muslim. It's E Mubarak. This is one of the, this supposed to be one of the best days of the year for us. I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand why they came there shooting. They had a big AK. It was huge. Well, of course, we're going to continue to monitor the situation. We'll bring you those updates as soon as they come into the newsroom. Well, the search continues today for a dangerous person accused of attacking two women near the Venice Canals. KCAL News reporter Luz Delia Caballero is working on that story and has the latest on the investigation right now. I'm Luz Stelia Caballero. We are at the Venice Canals, an iconic neighborhood. And over the weekend here, two women were violently attacked. One of them, the first at around 1030 near the Grand Canal, the second near the Sherman Canal. Here's what we know. Neighbors have told us that along their walks just after 1030 at night, they seemed to see what they thought was a pile of water. Pretty soon they realized it was actually a pile of blood. And this is near the Sherman Canal. You can kind of see the trail of blood here on this sidewalk, certainly telling the story of what happened here over the weekend. Again, two women violently attacked here at the Venice Canals. We also spoke to a man who says that one of his clients was unfortunately one of the victims here of this attack. Police say the suspect, uh, identified only at this time as a male suspect, is still on the run. So police are actively looking for this man. There are more officers here in the area patrolling as a precaution. But coming up, all new on KCAL News at 5, we'll share what more on what neighbors say they saw and the latest of what we know about this case. All right. Well, unfortunately, another Southern California school is now at the center of a fake nude photos scandal. LA Unified is now investigating a case at Fairfax High School. This is where inappropriate images generated with artificial intelligence had circulated among the students. District officials are trying to figure out where the pictures came from. Similar photos appeared earlier this month at Laguna Beach High School and in Beverly Hills. Five students who were believed to be behind a similar incident were recently expelled. Meanwhile, the LAUSD sent us a statement saying in part that these allegations are taken very seriously. They do not reflect the values of the Los Angeles Unified Community and will result in appropriate disciplinary action if warranted. They go on to say based on the school's preliminary investigation that these images were allegedly created and shared on a third party messaging app unaffiliated with Los Angeles Unified, end quotes. The Environmental Protection Agency has a new rule to limit some harmful chemicals in the nation's drinking water. The agency says that the change will prevent thousands of deaths and reduce tens of thousands of serious illnesses. The new EPA rule requires public drinking water systems to monitor, reduce, and report those high levels of six of the most common and toxic chemicals known as forever chemicals. Uh, they are called that because they don't break down very easily and they can last for thousands of years in the environment. Exposure to high levels of these chemicals has been linked to cancers, liver and heart issues, and developmental issues for infants and children. These chemicals entering our environment in an uncontrolled manner are harmful to our families, harmful to our communities, and harmful to our economy. These forever chemicals they are used in everyday products, including food packaging, non-stick cookware, cosmetics, and other personal care products. The EPA also announced nearly $1 billion in funding to help states and territories meet these new standards. This has been CBS News Los Angeles' The Rundown. Thank you so much for joining us. We will be back live at 3 o'clock with a check of that weather forecast. It's sunny, but there is changes coming this Saturday. Keep it right here on CBS News Los Angeles.
KBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.